Hello friends, welcome again to Sally's the Dog 2 in the series where I pick a gun, level it up in zombies, hope I don't die so I can have it ready for Warzone 3 when it comes out. Today we're using the DG58 LSW, I believe. It's got a lot of letters, very few vowels. In fact, there are, yeah, there are no vowels. Thankfully, vowels don't make guns shoot better or worse. It's an LMG. It is kind of in the mid-tier of the unlock tree. I can't hit anything with it. That's because I have no attachments on it. It is actually a level one. And when we're done, hopefully it's, what can I max it at? A level 29. For my contract today, I am choosing firepower. I gotta pack a punch of gun and then get 50 kills with it. That should be pretty easy. Also, leaving my secondary slot open so that I can hopefully extract with a gun that is behind the time wall. I got my cat equipped. I got my LMG on my arm. Let's begin. For the very first time ever, I am dropping in with something actually left to lose. I have a two-plate armor vest. I have a large backpack on, and I know that's probably not a lot to some people, but it's a lot to me because... Well, I'm not very good at zombies yet. I'm trying to get better. This is a good way for me to learn how the game actually works. And I am, I don't even know where I am, close to 11 Resort. So we're close to that ground war map. So at least I know that part. If I shoot these bells, does something go off? Not super realistic, if I must say so myself. This area appears to be heavily populated. A Tempest Torrent. I mean, I might as well use it for right now. This area appears to be heavy. I can't speak this morning. This area appears to be heavily populated with zombies. So I need to either kill them, get out of here. Ooh, wait, hold on. This is a... I want that, and I might as well just stow that so I can use it for a different class. Bam. Now open this. Let me... Oh, wow. This is a lot of money here. Uh, I gotta run away. Actually, I'll just shoot these guys. Get some XP while I can. So I have a 2x XP token on this thing. So this should hopefully go pretty quick. If I don't die in here, I don't think I will. Okay, we're, we're locked and loaded. This is a satisfying pistol to use as well. Let's find a contract. Uh, infested stronghold, ether nest, ether nest, deadbolt turret. Don't want any of those things. I would like to go ether extractor is hard to do. Eliminate the bounty. Contract that's where we're going to go. Ooh, that's ether up there. I need to get that. The quicker I can pack a bunch of gun, the better. I know there are a lot of different crystals you can get to do that right away. I have not found them yet. Thanks for the ether. Now I'm going to fly off. Oh, wow, they can climb up there? Did not know that. So this LMG is one that I have not seen many people use, haven't seen many clips of it on Twitter, and maybe that's because it's bad, or maybe it's because it's just not getting enough love. The iron sights seem, I would say, like, pretty good. I don't know, just a standard LMG. There we go, bounty contract, up and loaded. Where am I going? What am I gonna get? That's the question. Sometimes these guys are very good. I got one yesterday who was glitched. If you missed that episode, we were using the Holger AR. I still have to unlock the Holger LMG, but if I see it this game, I will definitely just extract with it. The other gun I'm keeping my eye out for is the MCW, although I'm like three levels away from actually getting that. And right now I'm flirting with the orange zone. If I get like enough stuff and feeling good about myself, I might actually go in there. Um, what are you? Uh oh, this guy looks good. I don't. I'm scared. Um, so I don't know what that was, but I know I don't want to get hit by it. So we're gonna have to play this a little bit finesse here. We're gonna have to play this a little bit finesse. I'm gonna have to use a little bit of finesse. Can I wall bang him? I can. So I can't get shot by his whatever the hell that is. Oh shit! 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 shit. Can I precision this guy? That's my next question. Requesting close air. Target mark. I need to keep him right around there and also not get hit by my own precision. I. I guess I do have a self revive. Well, uh, that didn't work, but we're having fun, and that's all that matters. Now, let me put this back on, reload, sick this homie with a thermite. Oh, that's neat. You have fire, I do too. That guy seems pretty good. So do those fire things. Um, okay, I might have bitten off more than I could chew this morning. I just gotta keep shooting him. I've made maybe a third. I guess we'll call that a third. I'm being optimistic here. I need to get more ammunition as well. It appears this guy's range is not the best on his fire thing, whatever we're gonna call it. But it hurts. It doesn't feel great to get shot with. Now, in order to get more weapon XP for this, I do also believe that I need to have my Holger out when I kill him. Somehow I cracked his armor, but he's still standing. Uh-oh, he's very angry with me. I don't know if I can... Can I outrun this guy? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about it either, bud. 17 bullets. Not going to be enough to take him down, so I'm going to have to reload one more time. Ah! Yes! Get absolutely wrecked. Nah, I'm not even there in that. I need another self revive, that's for sure. All right, we got it leveled up one. I almost have enough for my pack a punch. Now we go back to that car. We go to a pack a punch machine, but also I need ammunition because I only have 17 bullets left. Time is of the essence because I have a double weapon XP going right now. It's for an hour. There's our pack a punch machine. Hopefully we can find some ammo on the way in because right now I'm feeling not great. This pistol has five rounds. It takes a long time to reload and I'm not super accurate with it. There are plenty of ammo stashes around here in Ground War. I don't think there are 
basically any in this game mode. I gotta kill a few more zombies to get my money up. I did not know that was a thing until yesterday. So if you noticed that and were like, Sally, you're an idiot. Thank you so much for not like blowing up my spot. Calling me a big dum-dum. Yay, we got enough to pack a puncher. Let's see how big of a magazine we get. 120. Now we find an exfil site. I want to go somewhere that I haven't gone before in Exfil. Do I go into the orange zone just to see like how it feels just one time? Doesn't mean anything. I just I'm so curious. Can I dip my little toe in? Oh, uh, here we go. Medium threat difficulty. The zombies just got harder. Light armors. Wow, they got so much harder. Actually, this is probably a bad idea. Yes. In fact, it was an awful idea. Why did I do that? Do they chase me out? Okay, they do. Do I get more XP for killing the good ones? I know I get armor plates. That much is clear. There's an exfil in the orange zone. Maybe I just try to hightail it over there. Now, someone else told me that there is like a, I don't know if it's an Easter egg or a glitch or whatever it is, but it helps you extract quicker. Wait, what's in here? This sounds good. Basically, I think it was like a fast travel thing where if you go shoot some arches, like a finite amount of them, you can just move across the map. Oh, these are level two zombies. Got it. It appears I have anger a large horde of zombies at a where am i at a train station i didn't sleep a lot last night my son was just like i would like to not sleep during the hours that you are so from like three to nine this morning i was just kind of up he refused to sleep and the worst part is like my wife's sleeping then so i hang out with him for a good long while and then mom comes down and he's like all right i'll sleep now shut up zombie now one question i have about this Squad mission complete. Let's go! Level four as well. One thing I have a question about as far as leveling up guns and zombies is like, is a sniper rifle in any way feasible? Also, is this a... Ooh, I'm gonna get a ray gun. Please, 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 please. Give me a ray gun. It looks like something good. It's blue. MTZ interceptor. Oh, this is that tack rifle one, huh? I don't think this is fully auto. I want to kill a few more so I can pack a punch my other gun. Make it even better. Get a little two for one this video, huh? The MTZ Interceptor. Honestly, it's just a gun that I'm not going to want to level in multiplayer. I'm going to just try to get it done here too. But anyway, are sniper rifles in any way feasible? That's my question. It seems hard to do because like you have what? Five rounds on a sniper rifle. And I feel like if you go anywhere but like the gray zone or whatever we're calling the area that I'm in right now, that that would be, be pretty hard. You'd probably die. Let's go pack a bunch of MTZ and let's go exfil. Something tells me if I'm going into the orange zone in order to do it, I'm going to need, you know, like good guns. All right, I've got all the ammo. I've got full plates. I've got self-revive left in case I die. And now I'm in... Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. I hate the mercenaries. They're too good. Really, really, really dislike where I'm at at the moment. We get on this bridge, which could also be a death sentence, but that's better than the mercenaries. I had such a bad experience with them one game where I just... Yeah, I died. I died. I had no self-revive. I tried pleading for help. Didn't work. And I lost everything. How much does it cost to pack a punch of gun in the orange zone? That's my question. 10,000. Okay. Well, I'm very short of that, so we're just gonna go to the exfil. I'm honestly a little nervous. My butthole pretty clenched at the moment. Now, someone told me not to hit the exfil thing right away because, like, there's a swarm that... What the fuck is that thing? Disciple. Listen up. Oh, okay. Camp is heavily guarded. Oh, okay. There's another team over here. Got it. These guys are so good. This is going to be a problem. Oh, fuck. I need to get on top of something, I think. Oh, it's a hellhound. God damn it. Let me up! Let me up! Can I be open and honest with you guys right now? I'm fucking petrified. I might just try to exfil. I might just do that. I have this perk that makes me invisible to zombies. I don't appear to be getting any more XP for killing the good zombies versus the bad zombies. So yeah, I think I might do, oh my God, insta-kill. The game knew I needed it and the game delivered. Yes, I only leveled it up to five. This was ill-advised on my end. Doing this solo seems like it was a, such a bad choice. The big boom, what's good, my man? Oh, you're playing it fast and loose. Oh! Thought I was gonna make a friend. Okay, new plan of action. I leveled it up a little bit, didn't level it up a lot. What I'm gonna try to do is pack a punch of gun in the gray zone, then go into the orange zone, pack it again, and then do the exfil strategy. Let me make sure I still have, I have 30 minutes on my XP. I, I should probably top it off, right? Oh, I, I can't. Sometimes it's just bugged in the game and I don't know why, so I'm gonna have to do this pretty quick. I do have an uncommon ether tool that that I just used. Now, let me get out of my... Thank you. What's this thing right here? Ether nest. I mean, ether's what I need, so I might just go try to do this. Oh, I gotta kill so many spores. Holy shit. Now I gotta get out of here. And then they chase me out. If memory serves from the very first time I played this game, there was like the best zombies player ever was on my team and told me everything I needed to know. I forgot a lot of it, if I'm being honest. Yeah, don't remember a whole lot. I know I picked up that SMG. The focus of this video is still on this DS... Whatever, it's an LMG that honestly feels a lot like an assault rifle. Now until the next one. Can I wall bang it? I can. 
I need to get out of here, though. That's what the guy said. He's like, yeah, if you stay in there, they just swarm you, you die, and then you look like an idiot. And I don't need any help looking like an idiot. Activity complete. It's a contract bounty contract. Mark. We're gonna go get that. Those give me a lot of money. Sometimes they drop me something that lets me pack a punch my gun immediately, which is really what I need to do. I don't want to have to spend 700, sorry, not 700, $5,000 just pack a punching a gun to do it again once I get into the orange zone. Drone, no. I got my thermites. I got my, what gun is this? The M something something. DG and my MTZ. Oh, MTZ 776. This might actually not be an assault rifle. It might be a battle rifle type of thing. Beautiful pool. Sorry, I can't stay longer. You know, they put zip lines in the game, like horizontal zip lines along the X axis, and I kind of want to take one. For no other reason than I haven't taken one in zombies before. I'm curious if it gives me like a, a new tool to use. Wow, they're actually pretty fast. All right, let's see what this guy's got in store for us. Oh, it's one of my guys from before. Okay, got it. How you doing, bud? These are always just so stressful. I don't know why I do this to myself. This guy is so upset with me. Can I stun him? Because I need like, I need time to back up and reload here. Man seems impervious to stunts. Halfway there, guys. Oh, am I getting help from another person? I think I am. Thank you so much. Hog you. Oh, he didn't even give me any rewards. I just got ether out of it. Did level it up one. So there is also that exploit where you can get like infinite turrets and do the glitch. And that's something I could do. You guys kind of educated me down in the comments on how to do it. But also I have been told that that kind of is a thing that makes the entire lobby crash. And I don't want to do that. Okay, now we can pack a punch a gun at least once. But here's my question. Do I need to have it packed at level one in order to get it packed at level two? We need a, we need a couple more bucks, so I'm just going to do it. I don't know what this contract is. If it's bad and I die or feel like I'm going to die, I will leave. I understand doing this without a pack a punch gun might be not the smartest thing that I've ever done. But if you've been around the channel, either one, the main one or Sally is a dog too, you should know that doing things smart is not exactly my biggest strength. So now I got to do this. Oh, it's the egg thing. I also I feel like doing contracts is also a pretty sound leveling strategy. I want, this gun went up a full level after I killed that big bounty boss guy. These are actually like pretty fine ones to be doing in solo, I think. I'm not feeling super scared right now. Now I kill that spore, away we go. And then we move to the next blue dot on my mini map. Spores eliminated, level nine. Okay, so that went up quick. Reward gift, the juggernaut can. I might as well use it. I know it's kind of a gamble if I go in there and don't have a gun pack-a-punch and it doesn't let me use the pack-a-punch level two. In fact, now that I think about it, I really do think I gotta pack it first and then go get level two, which is, that's unfortunate, yeah. I'm not super excited about that, but I think it's just something that I'm gonna have to do, unfortunately. <laughs> Are these zombies throwing chunks of their flesh at me? That's so fucking metal. I love it. They definitely are. All right, now I got to figure out where a pack-a-punch is in the orange zone. Because what I learned from that first exfil is that I absolutely need to have this gun packed to, like, level two. Level 10, though, so we're making progress. I'm debating how I want to do this. Like, this is... I guess I can get in the armored truck and get all the way there, but that's, it's far away. One thing I would love to see them do is like the zombies that you get in the orange zone or the red zone are actually like much harder and they give you more XP. Right now, it looks like I'm getting the same exact amount, which is kind of a bummer, but this is the furthest I've ever been inside the orange zone. All right, armored truck looks like I'm in Mad Max Fury Road. All right, I got 10,000. Now it's time to get the hell out of here, except I want a couple more ethers from my orb. I love it. The orb is life, orb is love. Wait, what the fuck? That guy just exists in this zone? No, thank you. I'm leaving. It might be because I'm close to the red zone, which I have zero interest in going into. This is making me feel alive, though. Also, we get to see more of the map, which is nice. And I feel relatively safe in this car. I'm gonna feel even safer once I pack a punch this gun. We are so close. Come here, 500 meters. As I'm driving through here, all I'm thinking about is war zone. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. You are all dead. Zaravan City. Now I run in here, pack a punch this gun one more time. And away we go. Oh, wow. You get so much better loot here. That's good. Yeah, baby. Now I need to find an exfil site in the orange zone, which I don't see very many. I guess I could just go over here. The exfil should be even easier with the better pack-a-punch gun, right? And honestly, I can take one of these things and just fly right out. I don't even think I need my truck this time. It was getting in pretty bad shape. You didn't know these are like ascender things. You can go all the way up. They added a lot more verticality to this map, but they also gave you a lot of different ways to get up it. It got so eerily quiet. This, this got very intimate. For now, I have successfully survived the orange zone. Now I just need to exfil. That's gonna be the, not the issue now. My gun is pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm just curious how many more levels I can take this thing up. I know I'm getting XP for visiting POIs as well. Curious if I get gun XP for doing that as well. Wow, a level two pack-a-punch gun in the gray area is like it, everything just having an insta-kill. 
Leveled it up another one just from pack a punching it and shooting some zombies. All right, I'm doing the strategy that I've been told in the comments, which was don't call in the chopper right away because you get a couple hordes that come by you already. You can get more XP. I gotta say, I'm liking this LMG. If it actually hits like an LMG should with like the speed of an AR, this is actually a very good class. Very good loadout. And this is made with like not good attachments. Granted, I'm feeling like a god because this is pack a punch to level two. I just called the Nashville Chopper. Here we go. Let's play. I'm feeling pretty good about my chances of survival out here. As I say that, I'll probably never. But yeah, there's certainly a lot more than I remember. That's because the last time I did this, some guy was doing the turret exploit and they just had all the zombies killed immediately. Level 12, just from this one. Okay, level 14. This is actually going much quicker. I didn't think I was going to be able to get this done without my XP expiring. Um, I might be rethinking that now. Level 15. That's the bad news, folks. My double weapon XP has expired, and it's not letting me put on more, but... I mean, I am curious to see how many levels I can take this up. If only because I know most people don't have, like, I think I have 32 hours of double weapon XP left still. So yeah, a little bit curious how it goes now. Let me just get a couple with this MTZ thing, because I just, I don't know, I want to. I feel like this gun was feeling a little left out. I didn't find the zombies easter egg for fast travel, but I gave you one courtesy of editing. I leveled this up 15 out of 29. I didn't get a single level of weapon XP after my XP tokens ran out, and I actually had to restart my game because the entire thing was bugged. I couldn't even equip them. I've obviously put on some new attachments to this thing. We're gonna go into invasion where people can actually shoot back. Boy, that's laggy. And then after this game, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the conversion kit that's on this gun. You just gotta unlock it doing weekly challenges. Back to the happiest place on earth, Orlov military base. So there's some good news I found in the attachments on this gun. Number one, it's still pretty mobile, pretty accurate, even with the attachments that I put on, which definitely took away from some of that mobility. Number two, you can put a 100 round mag on it. I'm not saying you need all 100 rounds, but it's nice to have the option. That person's an absolute fucking demon. I want to see Ben. Default SVA. Wow. The snaps. You okay, bud? Probably not, no. Level 16. Boy, it goes by so much quicker when you got double XP, doesn't it? So the first LMG that I unlocked and that we did on this channel, Sally's the Dog 2, which, by the way, again, second channel. You can subscribe if you want. We're going to be doing a lot of these gun guides because, I don't know, I just wanted to get the second channel a little bit of juice, and I'm having a lot of fun doing them. They just don't do well on the main channel. Oh my god, yes. But the first gun that I did was the Pulimat. The pool. It was the pool. It's a Russian one. And it was very good. It was very accurate. I don't know the damage range because we couldn't really play a game of Warzone yet. But it felt really good. And that's kind of what I've been comparing all of the LMGs that I've been trying to. And I would say this one doesn't have the recoil control that that one did. There's a sniper. Should I challenge them? I mean, I might as well, right? Level 17. Oh man, you can't get finesse with movement when I'm rocking an LMG. Oh wait, cancel that. Shoot them. Wow, okay, so the mobility feels pretty good. I'm excited to show you guys the ammo conversion kit. You know how I said it was like a pretty mobile LMG and actually we just saw that it was? Well, the conversion kit really cranks it up a notch. Somehow I leveled it to 18 when I've done nothing. I'll take it, don't get me wrong. But I am curious how these conversion kits are all gonna work. Like, they kind of turn classes on their heads, right? The one that I'm gonna show you after this game seems to be, based on the sliders, quite good. Do I eagle shell you? I mean, I might as well. I have 60 rounds. Apparently, I can't hit them. I can only hit a vehicle. There are also conversion kits that, like, turn pistols into SMGs, like actual SMGs. And all the things that you can unlock via, I don't know, your weekly challenges. One thing I've been doing is just making sure I unlock, like, the, the mods. There's my person again. God damn it, I can't kill this person. They're unkillable. I've been unlocking all the weapon mods because I'm just so curious how they're going to work. The person is absolutely sitting around waiting for me to push them. And I don't really want to because they're right behind me. I'm telling you, they're unfucking killable It can't be done. I got... Oh my god, I almost got him. He's right here. He's gonna push the wall. Yeah! I don't know if you guys realize how much that meant to me. Let me show you the conversion kit, okay? You gotta complete five challenges from week two, but basically you get mobility and handling. Rate of fire it goes up too, and it looks hilarious. Just a little baby LMG. Only 10 more levels to go. Now is where we do the super cut of the level ranking up, and I cut out every single time that I'm about to lose my mind. Level 20, thank you, AI yes, boss. Level 21, 22, 23. Wow, that went quick. There it is. I think it's level 25. Okay, let's go. Level 28, we've 29, excuse me. We finally got it done. And just like that, it is finally done. I like like this gun a lot. I just don't know if I like it as much as the other LMGs. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow.